Hey guys, it's Summing Rush. Today we're going to be playing some live gameplay. Today's map is Tundra, and I decided to do more of these videos because a lot of people seem to really enjoy me showing actual World of Tanks games as opposed to, you know, 10k damage luck games. So we're on the map Tundra. The first thing you want to do in any game in World of Tanks is you want to assess the matchmaking situation. So they've got a 60 TP. Basically, they've got five heavies and a couple TDs that could also substitute as heavies, and they've got a ton of medium and light tank power. So Actually, their team is really well split. I would expect most of their heavies to go to the zero line because that's what heavies do on this map. Uh, and then some of their worse or more intel, either they're really bad or really good players will go to the one line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the one line and we're going to expect to fight either they're really good or really bad players. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if the 60 TP is there, for example. Now, they've got a 268 who's making this super aggressive play. I'm going to try to get a shot onto him as he does that drive because he's doing it and I don't really know why he's giving me that opportunity the type 5 just shot at me i'm going to drive forwards and we're just going to focus this guy down because the type 5 i don't want to give that guy shots and i do want to help out my bad shot here who's pretty much dead <laughs> that guy's screwed i'm not going to be able to go drive up and help him but hopefully i can save his hp and give my teammates the opportunity to go help him now that's totally changed my play because of that 268 and trying to help out the bad shot what's going to happen here because of the 268 position, we're, we've given up the one line, and so we can expect that right there, that 57 heavy to be really aggressive. So he's fired once. I don't know if he has support. He's fired twice. I'm just going to count that. He's actually reloading. So maybe we can get the track right there. That's what I went for. It probably hit his upper front plate because of our ping. And now we can actually push into him because we've got four tanks. You know, the Type 5 is probably distracted. He's certainly not in a position to support this 57. And that 57's play to come up here while he was pretty much alone ended up getting him killed. So we're losing the zero line. This is normally when you'd want to go back to base. And it's really important to keep an eye on your map. A lot of people, just watch this 277, they're going to start pushing through and we need to go back to base because this is going to be a problem. And honestly, that's a much larger priority than a camping type 5 heavy into 140. So it's very likely this 140 is actually right up here. Okay, he's not. I was just checking for that because I did want to cross. He's gone back to defend, which is fine. I need to put myself in a position to help out with defending the base. And the question is, how will this timing... One sec. Good. Fuck. Fuck. How? Are you kidding? <laughs> I was like certain that was going to kill him, but it didn't. Okay, so because they've got so many tanks here, I'm going to have to play defensively, right? Like, I want to help out this Jagdpanzer 100 but I don't want to kill myself to do it. I want to stay alive this entire game, if possible. I want to be one of the last tanks to die. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure this Jagdpanzer doesn't get flanked by any tanks who drive up like so, and he should hopefully possibly be able to deal with tanks in front of him. And I'm just going to have to sort of hold this type of line with this mouse right here. So it should actually potentially be doable if my shots pen, right? So there's the 430. We should have shots on his rear. I'm hoping the mouses may be able to land one. I'm going to actually have to fall back. I didn't really expect that timing, but it, it is what it is. Uh, and we're going to be brawling this 60 TP here. It doesn't look like he has weak spots on his turret, which is frustrating. But basically what's happened right here is we've got three tanks all in one position, and that makes it really hard to deal with heavy tanks because heavy tanks can just point their frontal armor at us. So I'm actually going to fall back and try to change the angles a bit. That Yag's doing an amazing job. And hopefully we can catch the sides of the turret of the 60 TP or whatever. Now they have no one on the hill, so I feel comfortable making this play. If they did have someone on the hill, that would change things. And we'll see if this change of angles gives me good shots in this guy. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. I should, that's gonna suppress him, so I'm gonna fall back. I want him to drive forwards if possible. But uh, regardless, now we're in a position to help with that 277. And if that 60 TP is aggressive, we're also in a position to shoot at him. So I can't do much about that 277. Seven, just what the hell? I wanted to shoot that 140. Let's see, how's this guy playing? This guy's really aggressive. I have to brawl with an FV. Good. Okay, same thing with the angles. I want to try to make the angles. Why? Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, now we're going to drive into this 277. Clear that, try to get the track. Hutton just killed that guy. Good, get the kill. Where is everyone? Okay, 
<laughs> that's the pattern that killed my buddy. Oh, that's going to hit his gun barrel. That's the FE. I don't have shots in the FE. <laughs> How do I make this work? The problem is that FE is a two shot, right? I should be somewhat safe. Don't have shots. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> There's just so many angles and tanks to deal with. Good. I think that's the game. Got one more shot. I'm okay with that. This guy should get the kill on me. Oh, brilliant job by that mouse. This pattern is just sort of camping me, which is unfortunate. I'm going to use... Good. That was luck, right? I didn't really... I have to drive forwards to dodge it. Oh, fuck. Drive forwards. No! <laughs> That's about as good as it's going to get, man. I got really lucky to survive that patent shot right there, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Let's go take a look at the end game. End plates. Not a bad way to start the video. That was 91,000 credits, 822 XP, 5 bonds, 4,009 damage. That put us second place on the team for damage. The 277 did a great job. Same with that Panzer E100 who was sitting up in that corner. He did well to survive. And uh, yeah, let's go play another. Oh, <laughs> losing my voice here. All right, so we're on the map, Abbey. It's a standard game. First things first, of course, once again, gonna take a look at the enemy team lineup. Now, in a 357 matchmaking situation, the only tanks I tend to pay attention to are the heavy tanks of, and mediums of the tier nines. Like really all you have to care about is the tier nines and tens and the tier eight TDs. Now, the reason you won't care about tier eight TDs is because they tend to have like insane alpha. <laughs> and high pen so you need to watch out for those but generally the tier 8 mediums aren't that big of a threat same with the tier 8 heavies so they've got a tier 10 heavy a tier 10 medium and a tier 10 td we've got a lot a tier 10 heavy and an e3 so what i would expect because we've got a super conqueror and an e3 is i would just expect them to go to the one line if they're somewhat decent and i would expect us to win the one line because that e3 if if the e3 loses to their tier nines and tier eights that'll be impressive right so our two tier three tier tens should be able to beat their three tier tens in a head-on-head -head engagement and we're not even going to be fighting the grill in my opinion so um i expect us to win the one line so we're going to go to the one line because i want to play the side that i can win you don't want to take fights that you'll lose right off the bat we see that they've got a ton of mediums in the mid and they've also got the 277 on the nine line so that tells us that there's very low chance of us finding any tier 10s on the two line because what's a grill gonna do bring his grill to the two line like he'd have to be retarded to do that so that tells us the two line is clear we're just gonna make that happen so i'm gonna push up it's not clear there might be tier eights here but i'm gonna push up and i want to get shots in these guys and you know i can do that relatively safely because of the reasons that i outlined if a tier eight tank spots me I'll just shoot him. Like it's gonna be it should be relatively easy. That's a tier nine though. Okay. I wanted to put this rock has actually been made smaller, so this position becomes harder, but regardless, we can just sit here and wait for the opportunity to shoot at people. There you go. Just like this. Good. So I put two shots into that guy, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna look for another one on this Progetto. I checked my minimap to make sure that there is no tanks here who are threatening me. Obviously that 5041's a threat, but that Super Conqueror should be able to like manage that, I would hope. There you go. So this guy's gonna be distracted. So I'm gonna poke on the left, because if I were to poke on the right, I'd be poking in front of his gun and he would just start shooting me. He's clipping that Super Conqueror out, so that allows me to do this. And you know, <laughs> that Super Conqueror's low HP now, so. Get the shot in just before the Super Conqueror blocks mine. And no, none of these guys can really shoot at me, so I'm just gonna push forwards. And we're gonna actually not push forwards because that would be a bad idea. Just looked at the map. So they've got three tanks in A9. The default position that you go to if you wanna defend the base, in my opinion, is should always be B3. This is an opportunity that I'm not gonna pass up when the scores are like this though. So we're gonna, how did that miss, man? I just wanna get as much damage as I can and like not be an idiot about it. I wanna shoot their tanks while I can. So we're just gonna sort of leave here right now. Like, okay, so I'm trying to figure out if I can win this game or if I should just only play for damage. If they get on cap, there's a high probability, like, we have the possibility to win this game because they're, they'll just be sitting in the middle of an open field. So I'm hoping that they kind of get on cap. 
and uh, maybe that e3 will be able to come back. We're just gonna have to sort of play to that e3 and I might be able to get one or two shots and then we're just gonna start being safe. He repaired that, that sucks. Tried to get the second tracking shot there, it didn't work out. This is where obviously I'm gonna fall back because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be fighting multiple tanks, like five plus, and I'm gonna be alone. So I'm hoping the 277 shoots someone else because I'm a dick and I value my own HP. Okay, this is gonna get me killed because I didn't take the hit from the 277. Okay, so now I'm just buying time because I want that E3 to return to base. Good, 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 good. The E3's full too, man. What about Artie? F no, I hope this E3 comes this way. Good, good, good. I needed that. So the 277 has no clue that this E3 is here, which is perfect. And I'm going to let the E3 deal with that because I want to go shoot at these mediums and like... That's a big deal. I need to kill those mediums so my E3 doesn't get flanked. I'm going to just try to hold this. I'm going to try to be aggressive, catch that E50 by surprise. And then we're going to turn around. We don't have to deal with getting flanked right here. Maybe the grow will flank us in a couple seconds, but there's not much I can... Fuck you, dude. Go shoot the E3, man. Oh, fuck. Should be able to get the kill unless he uses that E3 for cover, which is exactly what he's doing. The E75 gets the kill. Now we want to push this guy because the grill is going to start coming. I also wouldn't be surprised if the TVP... I need to push these two tanks. I wouldn't be surprised if the TVP is up here too, but... Good. Like, I'm, I'm hoping I can just be already safe right here, to be honest. We'll see if that works out. Good. That's the grill, right, from that angle too. So I'm just gonna keep driving forwards and hopefully I can just live for as long as, this guy missed. Okay, can I use this T44-100 to get safe? Let's repair this so I don't get lit. Oh wow, I'm so good. <laughs> good, and then once I get hauled down. Aw, oh, that sucks, man. If only that E75 was alive for longer. Good, I'm just going for low HP right there because it makes it a lot easier to win when you're How do I talk while I'm trying to do this, man? I want to run circles around this grill almost. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Not much more I can do in that situation, to be honest. Like, that was... I don't know. My gun was melting there, so... <laughs> that was not bad, though. The game could have been a lot worse, especially considering how many tanks we were down. I'm absolutely happy with doing 6k damage in a situation like that. Alright, so we came first place on damage by about three times. The next best player was the E3. Uh, E75, Super Conqueror all did okay, I guess. I'd say the E75 did well and so did the Super Conqueror. And then, you know, the rest of the team had trouble doing 1500 damage. So that's just the way it is. They did a very good job to have won that game. I felt like we had the advantage. I think what happened is they pushed the 9-9 way quicker than our team was prepared for, and because they were able to do that quickly, they won the game. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That was 41,000 credit profit with my booster thingamajig. Uh, 25 shots fired, 24 of them hit, and 21 of them penned, and that's game i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you want to see more be sure to like and the subscribe button as well if you have suggestions for videos i'm short of ideas so feel free to let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments and i will be reading all of them so yeah thanks for watching bye for now